They are calling it the snowstorm of the century. All of South Park County is being pummeled with snow, and more is expected to come. Multi-car accidents and power outages are being reported all over town. Oh, honey, thank goodness you're safe. Mom, did you see how hard it's snowing outside? Yes, sweetie, and it's getting worse. Well, are they saying it's going to be a snow day? They're going to cancel school, right? They haven't said yet. This storm has gone from bad to worse. I'm here at Stark's Pond, which has been completely frozen over, and a tanker truck has crashed into the ice. There have been multiple casualties. Multiple casualties? They're going to cancel school. I just know they will. Eric, this is very serious. Things are just getting more and more horrible here, Tom. The storm is not showing any signs of stopping, and with the snow piling up and roads icing over, we are in for a catastrophic night. Oh, God, they're going to cancel school. Did they cancel school yet? Did they cancel school? Eric, go back to bed. But I don't have to go to bed if I don't have to get up for school. We don't know that, Eric. We'll find out in the morning. <laughs> God, please, please, make it keep snowing. Harder than it ever has. Please, God, just this one time, don't fuck me. dead, Tom. Reports of frozen water lines and even frozen bodies as this storm continues. Did they catch us, Gabe? Did they catch us, Gabe? Eric, it's horrible. City officials are warning that even first responders will be staying home today. The roads are completely blocked. There is no toilet paper anywhere. What a bad ski! This truly feels like the end of days. Everyone, please, take care of yourselves. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, and we've just received word that all Park County schools are closed for the day. Yes! Yes! There's no skiing! It's a snow day! There's no skiing! No, no, no skiing! There's no skiing! See you later, Mom. I'll be back in a couple hours. Have some brunch ready for me. Where do you think you're going? I'm going outside to play with my friends. I don't think that's safe, sweetie. Mom, it's a snow day. The most magical of days in a young child's life. Careful out there, honey. Have a good time with your friends. Ah, hello, my liege. It is I, the Grand Wizard. We have many battles to fight this day. Oh, right. By the way, since you last played, we had to redo all the rules and start over because somebody got all OP. So you're going to have to go to the school and talk to the Keeper of Rules. Okay, very nice, guys. You've collected some resources, got some basic weapon skills, and reviewed how to handle your cards. Now it's time for one last test. Hey, you wanted to see me? Who's this kid? Are they playing? No, not yet. They gotta pass one final test. Okay, new kid. Kick his ass! What? Ah! Go! Go, new kid! Kick that fucking elf's ass! You got slammed! So, as you can see, we've had to make some changes to the game because some asshole, who we won't name, decided to become all-powerful and ruin Stick of Truth because then everyone wanted to be all-powerful and nobody could die anymore. 
So then we played superheroes, and guess what happened? That same someone got all OP again and fucking ruined that game, too. And now because of that someone, we've had to add a bunch of fucking ruse. And then once there were ruse, everyone started arguing over the ruse. And then we all went to war again. Remember, with this new card-based system, you're only as powerful as the cards in your hand. And you only get two to start with. So now you can't be all OP. Good luck trying to ruin this game. I'm sure you'll manage. Of course, even though you are technically the king, you still have to play by the new rules because this is America. So, you are now the king of two cards. Congratulations. Now listen, Clyde has information that the elves are preparing to launch a massive attack on our kingdom. They've been spotted advancing their forces near Stark's Pond. We have to take them out before they kill us all. Oh, and new kid, this mission will be very dangerous. So I'm pairing you with some other new kids who also recently moved to town. But keep in mind, you are the real new kid. Those other new kids will be working for you because you're the one that matters, okay? You're the big dog. Also, I'm going to sign you all numbers. Totally at random, no big deal. But there's a chance I might not give you number one. Just know that you're still the best new kid to me. You're the important one, even if you're like number four. Good luck. Who are these assholes? They're my secret army. We're attacking you before you attack us. What are you talking about? My spies saw your army gearing up for battle. Your spies? What the fuck are you talking yeah, about? Your, yeah, your spies, Kyle. They're your what? spies getting ready for battle. Are you battle. serious? Uh, remember, there's no fighting allowed at the bullshit trial. This is sacred ground. Yeah, yeah, just get on with it, Butters. Okay, each player lays down a bullshit card so that we can all agree on the rules before the battle begins. Oh, thank God! You gotta help me! I was scrounging around for supplies and I got stuck in the ice! But I hit the jackpot! Look! Look at all this toilet paper! You have to figure out a way to break the ice and get me out of here! Hurry, my balls are freezing! Elven treasure! This looks like a trap! I bet Kyle's behind this! Uh, yeah, Kyle! Yeah! I can help you get Kyle! Just get me out of here! I'll give you some treasure, too! I'm not sure I trust him, but I'm willing for you to take that risk. Just power up that tanker truck. I mean, gnomish juggernaut. And drive it through the ice. You're going to have to find the keys and the gas and, you know, learn to drive, but... Go ready. Finally, you did it! Under my guidance and sage-like wisdom. Oh, thank God. You did it. You saved me. I've been trapped in here all day. I would have gotten out, but there's a level three elven lock on that door over there. I'm so happy. I found this chest full of toilet paper. Everyone in town is hoarding this stuff. Especially that damn Stotch. It's worth more than money. I'm rich. I'm richer than Stotch. New kid, let's find out where Kyle's hiding. Uh, yeah, Kyle, yeah. Uh, I can show you where he is, but, uh... Oh, man, I've been stuck here so long, I, I really gotta go take a shit. Just, uh, look within yourself and you'll find all the answers you need, you know? Believe in yourself and all that stuff. It'll be revealed. I'm gonna go take a shit and rub this toilet paper in that fucking Stotch's face! Prepare to face my druish justice! Alright, boss fight! Yes! Yes, I did it! You know what, Kyle? I learned something today. You're a little bitch. Fuck you, Cartman. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. You just thought you could do anything you wanted, didn't you? You just thought you were so smart. I beat you, Cal. And now by rule, you have to follow my rules here at Koopa Keep. Those are the rules, right, Your Honor? Those are the rules, yes. You didn't beat me, fat ass. The new kid did. And who are those other three kids they were playing with? Oh, those were the other new kids. They all think they're the actual new kid, but you're the only new kid that matters, right, new kid? Honestly, those other new kids are all total boners, right, butters? Yeah. <laughs> Why did you attack my fucking base? Attack your base? Ha! Ha! Are you denying that you were gearing up your entire army to attack our fucking base? Yeah. What? Says who? Says Clyde. Yeah. And do you always trust what Clyde says? Hell no. Clyde's a total dumbass. Yeah. God damn it, you guys. We are gearing up to attack someone else. Someone who I think is a real, actual threat to our town. Who? Don't you think it's strange? A snowstorm this big? In one weekend? Have you ever seen anything like it? What are you suggesting, Elf? It isn't natural. I think that someone has cast a level 10 endless winter spell. 
Well, that kind of magic has been outlawed ever since the new kid ruined the last game by farting backwards in time. Yeah, well, it's been done. I know it. And who do you believe to have cast this banned spell? The same person who's been acting strange for the past week. Stan. The Marsh Walker? Stan has been acting strange ever since he thought his version of the rules were best. I was gearing up my army to get to him and force him to talk to me to see what he was up to. But then the new kid came and got in the way. Wow, nice going, new kid. This may be all fun and games for you guys, but this storm isn't going to end, and our town is in serious trouble. Oh, jeez. Then we have no choice. New kid, we must get to the Marsh Walker, Stan, and find out what he's been hiding. This is Marsh Walker territory, Cartman. You don't belong here. Fuck you. I'm the Grand Wizard. I belong everywhere. We'll see about that. You're goddamn right we're gonna see about it! Nah, my lords, let's keep this civil. Keep it civil? What about this asshole? There's a rumor he's using banned spells. I'm the wizard. I'm the only one that gets to use banned spells. Why don't you and I just settle this now, Cartman? One-on-one. -on -one. Whoever wins gets to decide the rules. Forever. Enough! <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, we ought to lay out the grand rules so, so we can get started. So, so, go ahead and lay out your cards. Oh, yeah, this is good. Oh, cool, radioactivity. And a boost to our double daggers. Is that all? Oh, oh, yeah, that's good. Proximity shields. Laser swords. Elusive shadow. Diet time. Pff, whatever. These will show you. What the fuck? A plus 10 axe? You can't do that! Yes, I can do it. I forged it by completing a quest. It's totally legal. Ask Butters. Gee, uh, I don't know. Let me ask the damage grab. Damage grab? Is a plus 10 axe legal? Uh, sure, why not? The damage scrab is spoken. Stan's axe is legal. So, we're still gonna beat the shit out of you. Ask Kyle how my plus 10 wizard balls taste, because you're next. Whatever, see you on the front line, Cartman. Damn right I'll see you there, on the front line. Son of a bitch. Okay, so obviously I can't be on the front of the line, but I'll be in the back casting spells and doing wizard shit to keep you all safe. Find Stan and smash his army, and then kick him in the bowels if you can. Your army won't help you, Cartman! You're gonna die today! What did you say? I said, you're gonna die today! Screw you, you're gonna die! What? I said, screw you, you're gonna... Never mind! Let's just fucking go! Whatever, let's just fucking go! That's what I said, let's fucking go! Kids are dead! No! Um, no they're not! They're only mostly dead! I can use my wizard powers to bring them back to life! Oh yeah, your axe gave them, um, the dysentery! Dysentery only does 99 damage, they each have one hit point left! That's not fair! Hey, I don't make the rules! Actually, I kinda do! Ah! Butters, what the hell? What the fuck kind of quest did Stan do to get that axe? It says here, he, he passed several tests of strength to collect files of a mysterious gooey stuff, and then used the goo to forge an axe of unimaginable strength. Pretty cool, huh? This isn't fair, Butters. You have to figure something out so I can beat Stan. Well, there is an official anything you can do, I can do too clause in the rulebook, so technically, you can do the same quest Stan did and get his secret power. Oh, good. Do that, new kid. Finish the quest, get powered up, and stop embarrassing me. Be I cast a spell, your health is back to 100. Get the fuck up. God, I have to do everything around here. New kid, you're no match for my Marsh Walker powers. So I'm just gonna have my friend Kenny kick your ass. All right, new kid, take out Princess Kenny. Don't let her kiss you, or you're totally gonna be pussy whipped. <laughs> the new kid, aren't you? It's me, Mr. Hunky. I was gone for a while, but I'm back. And guess what? I brought some Christmas magic with me. You want some? Some of that Christmas magic? I can give you a little taste if you want.
Remember, these are designated OP moves that you can only use for a limited time. Choose carefully. Now think carefully about what you pick. You'll be playing these rules for a while. Wow, guess we're not the only ones looking to talk to Jimbo. Please, you gotta help us. You're the only store still open. We're so hungry, we need food. Do you have any food? Settle down, everyone. One at a time, you're all acting crazy. It's a snowstorm. It's not the apocalypse. The end is nigh, everyone. It's the apocalypse. Repent before it's too late. Hey, what do you want, kid? Can't you see we're busy? Wait your turn. Oh, you're one of Stan's friends. Are you here about that quest I gave him? Tell you what, help me supply these hoarders and you can get the same deal Stan got. Just find a few things for me and I'll give you whatever you want. I need you to find me some lavender dryer sheets. Lavender, not that fresh linen crap they sell. Oh boy, I can smell those babies from inside the box. Thanks, kid. Now, here's the next thing I need you to find. You know what a tin Pokemon is? Me neither, but people will pay good toilet paper for them. Go get me one. You got them tin Pokemon. Nice work. Now, here's the next thing I need you to find. That butter's creamy goo stuff seems to be popular. Go get some of that and bring it back. Hey, new kid! You're dead! Ha! 16 damage! 16 damage? What the hell? Since they passed the test of strength, your 10 plus axe is largely ineffective now. Wait a minute, the new kid has a secret power too? So then I'm not super OP anymore? Aw! Oh, does that mean Cartman wins? Not exactly. Why'd you just use the class 10 combat base that you built? You have a dragon, for Christ's sake. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, new kids, prepare to die. This doesn't make sense. I completed the quest. I used the dark matter. Maybe I wasn't using enough. Hey, Stan! Stan, thank God you're safe. You don't know what it's like out there. Everyone's going crazy fighting each other for toilet paper. But I've been finding these treasure chests filled with it all over the place. People are just leaving them in hidden but easily findable locations. Can you believe that? I also beat up Stotch and took his toilet paper, too. <laughs> We're gonna be rich, Stan! Dad, not now. I have to defeat my enemies. Enemies? Well, wait, so if you lose, do they get to take our toilet paper? Well, I, I guess. Yeah, those are the rules. Oh, shit. No, they, they can't have our toilet paper. Would a level 5 dad warrior be able to join in the middle of a class 10 base siege? Well, uh, you know what? Sure. What? Please, do whatever you want, but Stan. Don't hurt the toilet paper. I was gonna be rich. Ha 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 ha! Starch! Stan, it's over. You have to admit I didn't. Yes, you did, Stan. Why couldn't you just play by the same rules as everyone else? Because my version of the rules actually work. The way you guys do it, it, it doesn't even make any sense. You don't even know what power-ups go with what abilities. And that's why you turned into a total dick? Oh, I'm a dick because I stood up for what I believe in. Upgrades shouldn't be awarded every level. It's confusing. Well, we beat you, Stan. So now, by rule, you have to follow our rules. Yeah, so can you please stop this winter spell before more people get hurt? What are you talking about? Come on, Stan. We know this snowstorm isn't natural. Somebody use magic. Do you really think I would purposely start a storm that's killing people and shutting down the whole town? The way you've been acting lately, yes. Why did you turn against everybody and get all aggro? I don't know, okay? I don't know. I guess ever since I got that dark matter stuff from Mr. Hanky, I just felt like a different and... What did you say? I got this dark matter stuff from my axe and I just felt so powerful that I thought I could... From Mr. Hanky? The Christmas boo? Yeah. Oh my God. That could be it. What could it be? Everyone turned on him. Mr. Hanky kept getting wasted and tweeting things. Oh, come on, it was a joke! Mr. Hanky, stop! And then eventually the whole town had him canceled. He hasn't been heard from since. If anyone would want to hurt this town, it would be him. How could you accept dark gifts from Mr. Hanky and not tell anyone, Stan? Who does that? Guys, I'm sorry. I guess we have to find Mr. Hanky and put a stop to him. By Zaron's balls, we'll find him and destroy his dark powers. And then we can stop this horrible winter storm. And then all the stores can finally open again. Yeah, 
and people stop fighting over toilet paper and get back to work. Right. Yeah, and we can all get back to going to school. Right, and we can all get back to going to school. Stay back! We're out of stuff! There's no more stuff. I don't think this is going to end well, Ned. No shit. Excuse me! Excuse me! Hot cocoa, anyone? Free delicious hot cocoa! Everyone's favorite winter tap treat! I know you're all tired and hungry and cold. How about something to get you through the night? Father Maxie, would you like some hot cocoa? Uh, sure. I, I guess I can have a little hot cocoa before the world ends. It's pretty cold. I, I'll, I'll take some hot cocoa. Yeah, I'll have some too. Does it have marshmallows? <laughs> I'm never going back to school. And you'll never have to, Eric. Sweet. Huh, no one's here. Oh well, choose your cards. We'll need all the bullshit we can to defeat Mr. Hanky. Well, I don't really appreciate tardiness, but, but the trial must go on. Aki! Good choice. We're sure to win now. And then this snow day will finally be over and we can all go back to school. Ha ha! Surprise! If you want to get to Mr. Hanky, you're gonna have to go through me. God damn it, Carmen, what are you doing? I'm finally gonna live the life I've always dreamt of, Cam. A life with no skill. Mr. Hanky is ruining South Park. We can't keep living like this. Don't worry, you won't be living much longer anyways. Mr. Hanky has given me the power of dark magic, and I'm gonna use it to destroy you yet! Sorry, new kid. I'm totally betraying you now. Honestly, you should have seen this coming. Behold the might of the Grand Wizard. There were giants! Worthless weapons! I'm breaking your bows! More health for my troops! Healing memorial! Suck my bows! Ha 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 ha! With me and my dark army in control, we never have to go to school again! You should be thanking me! I fucking knew Karma was onto something. We have to stop him. <laughs> Come on! You must have known you were disposable. And lucky for me, Mr. Hanky gave me some of his power. And now, I can do this. Okay, uh, everyone have a nice dinner? Man, I am stuffed. I think I ate too much. <laughs> so, Coop, cool. um, back to the game, I guess. I believe we're about to join forces in battle with Mr. Hanky, right? Fuck you, Cartman. We're not playing with you anymore. Yeah, you tried to kill us with dark matter. You're out of the game. Well, except you can't kick me out of the game because I'm the Grand Wizard. So? So you're gonna need my help. We know you're not gonna help because you still don't want to go back to school. He's right. You were pretty adamant about not wanting to go back to school. Well, well I've changed my mind. The truth is, none of this is my fault. I think we all know whose fault it is. It's been just a shit show of rules breaking, and I got caught up in it just like Stan did, and just like the new kid does all the time. But we have to find Mr. Hanky and stop this storm. Maybe Eric feels bad and wants to redeem himself. We should let him play. He just wants to join us so he can betray us again. I want to join you because that's the ruse. The losing clan has to join forces with whoever defeated them, right? That's your rule, Kyle. And I understand how important rules are, because if we don't have rules, then the new kid's just gonna ruin the game like always. He's got a point there. Enough talk. We have to take Mr. Hanky down before more people die. I demand to see the Lord of Dark Matter. Come out, Mr. Hanky. We know you're in there. Until you kicked me out of town and canceled me and made me an outcast. And all I did was take some Ambien and tweet a couple bad jokes. They weren't just bad jokes, they were really racist and homophobic jokes. That were pretty funny. The worst part is, you boys weren't there for me. My own friends, they just turned their back. Nuh-uh. No, you turned your back on us, Mr. Hanky. We're not gonna let you keep destroying South Park. Reverse the spell now. Stop this endless winter or we're gonna have to end it ourselves. You're too late. 
This town and everyone in it has tasted my dark matter. I'm in control now. All I needed was one of you to use my dark magic and build up its power. I'd put my money on Stan, but he fucked it up. And I had to settle for that lame new kid. Look at the way this little turd dresses and his stupid face. So lame. But with my help, the new kid became super OP with dark Christmas magic. By the way, you know that these guys are just using you, right? What? No, we're not. Dude, we gave you a chance. Fuck you, Stan! It's like he's completely lost his Christmas spirit. The final battle begins now with these cards. Hey, new kid, don't believe what Mr. Hanky said about, you know, us using you and stuff. Yeah, we're not using you. You're our friend. Whoa. Yeah, because we're friends, and not because you're way more powerful than all of us. Okay, great. So you're going to go kill Mr. Hanky for us? It's Hell's Mass Hospital, new kid. Mr. Hanky's got to be somewhere around here. I don't think he knows we're here. We have to strike. Okay, new kid. You're the one with all the dark magic. Go ahead. Kill Mr. Hanky. No, no, wait. What if this is a trap? What if Mr. Hanky needs a human boy filled with dark magic to strike him down so that their powers like mix with his powers and he can rise up and become even more powerful than ever? Shut the fuck up, Cartman. You just don't want to go back to school. Do it, new kid. <laughs> Eric was right. You thought I was asleep, but I was listening. I just needed a human child to get super OP and pissed off and then use their dark matter against me. Ah, oh, I told you guys. Now I'll be unstoppable. Oh, great job, new kid. You fucked us. You guys should have listened to me. And now it's time for all of you to die. What the hell? What happened? Where are we? This is where they leave their offerings for the Great One. Dark Christmas is upon us. And he has taken his final form. The fuck are you talking about, final form? I'm talking about Shiza Halud. one way to deal with a bunch of shit. Toilet paper! Yeah, toilet paper! There's a ton of it here! Great! We can use those cannons to shoot it at him! Come on, let's go! <laughs> the storm has lifted, the snow is melting, and toilet paper is once again just for wiping your butt. Things are going back to normal in South Park, and we're all gonna be all right. All of us, except for the thousands who tragically lost their lives. Back to you, Tom. Oh, I've just been told that Tom has also tragically lost his life in the storm. And now, back to you, Kelly. It's not that big a deal, Carmen. It's just school. We all have to go. You know, not that long ago, I prayed to God, and all I asked was to not get totally fucked. School isn't that bad, dude. No, no, it's okay. I'm pretty used to getting fucked now. It's just sort of par for the course when you have faith in a higher power. Jesus! Oh, here we go. My children. I am very disappointed in all of you. Wait, what? In all of us? What do we do? Every Christmas, Mr. Hankey brought you happiness and joy. And yet, when he got canceled for his Twitter posts, you would not forgive him. No, oh, that was everyone else in town. We didn't care. And yet, did you stand by Mr. Hankey's side when everyone turned on him? Everyone makes mistakes, boys. But the only mistake that is truly wrong is not to forgive. It is up to you to correct your mistake.
Mr. Hanky? Mr. Hanky, we're sorry. We should have had your back. Yeah, we should have had each other's backs. All this talk about the rules and what's wrong and right. Yeah, if anyone's been a piece of shit, it's been us. You guys don't mean it. Yeah, yeah, we, we mean it, really. We, we messed up too, Mr. Hanky. Everybody does. Are you sure? We're sure, Mr. Hanky. We love you. Well, howdy ho! Thank you, boys. This is the best day of my life. Now we just gotta figure out how to get the rest of the town to forgive you. I don't care what the town thinks of me, so long as I have you kids. Oh, great, now we can all be friends again. And maybe sometimes, just sometimes, you can make a blizzard again, so we can have another snow day. Yeah, maybe like right now? Could you, Mr. Hanky? Could we just have like one more snow day? Anything for my friends. Howdy ho! <laughs>